Hi everyone, this is Leslie with Pray Night for your weekly tarot card forecast. And this week I am doing things a little bit differently. I am going to go directly into pulling two cards for each of the zodiac sign and I will be eliminating my nine card general spread. I'm also going to be focusing on the table that I'm reading from. I'm hoping that by you looking at the cards, you will be immersed into awakening your intuition. So I'd love to hear in the comments how this reading works for you versus me speaking into the camera. So I'm here to help you awaken that intuition and let's get started. Okay, everyone, let's get started with our weekly reading for all the zodiac signs. And to start off the reading, I'm gonna pull a general card for the week, and this will be like a theme for the week. And then we'll clarify this reading for all of the zodiac signs. And the card is Wisdom. By the way, I'm using the Rumi's Oracle deck for the general card this week. This card is talking about tapping into your wisdom and the things that you feel deep in your soul. Knowing what's right to do, knowing what's wrong to do for yourself. So if you find this week you are contemplating on something or trying to figure something out, this is when you have to really tap within and use your inner wisdom to really find out what what you need to do. And you may feel others are giving you their opinions, which are always important for you to weigh out for yourself, but only take the advice that resonates with you. If, if it's advice that you listen to and maybe logically you think, yeah, that's probably something I should do, but it's not what's in my heart, you need to follow your heart this week. All right, so now we are gonna go into each of the zodiac signs and I am using the Dreaming Way tarot deck for each of the zodiac signs and I'm gonna pull two cards for each of the zodiac signs and see what we have going on. So we're gonna start off with Aries and let me just center here for Aries and what do we have going on for you Aries? We have the Two of Swords and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So for you Aries, this is decision-making time. And it's all about figuring out which way to go. You may be contemplating if you are going to be taking a new job or should you stay or go in a relationship. But I feel like for this week, for you Aries, something unexpected is going to happen and it's to your benefit. I like to say it's divine timing. In your logical brain, you are mapping out your decisions this week. What you need to do. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? What should I do? I need to make a decision. But here the Two of Swords is saying that you may not have all the information to make a decision at this moment. And the Wheel of Fortune comes along to say, somebody's gonna come in from the outside and present you with another opportunity that you hadn't even thought of before. So it actually makes it for a better situation than what you had previously thought. Now going back to the theme card here, the wisdom card, this is where when that when something is presented to you that it comes out of the blue and it adds a third component to what you are trying to decide to do. This is when you have to tap into your inner knowing and tap into your heart to say, what resonates the most with me? Does this new opportunity that has come into my life all of a sudden, is this what I really want to happen? Or am I okay with just weighing the two options that I had thought of previously. So that's what I see for you, Aries, this week. All right, so now we're gonna go on to Taurus. Shuffle good for Taurus here. Let's see what we have going on for you, Taurus. And Taurus, we got the lovers. 
and we got the Page of Pentacles. So for you Taurus, this is all about love this week. This is you interacting with the person that you are connected to, whether it is your partner, your significant other, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you are connecting with them. You will have a lot of engagement with them this week. I feel like it might be your partner is going to have an opportunity to probably make more money, maybe have a news of a promotion. This could even be you. And I feel like this week it's all discussing the options. So if there's a new job offer on the table for either one of you, this is a time to discuss what that actually means. Is this the right time to make changes? I feel like if it is a job opportunity, it's something maybe you haven't talked about as a couple, uh, haven't looked at, but I feel like this week it's so important to connect with each other and really figure out which way is right for you and your family. Going to look at the wisdom card that we pulled, again, is this right for you? If it is right for you as a couple, or if you have a family, if you're involved with children, uh, family members who are there, what does this opportunity pose for you? And is it the right opportunity? Page of Pentacles is bringing in news of possibly new income, uh, new monies, promotion, anything that you value. You may also be looking to purchase something this week and you have to do it as a couple. You have to do it together. This is all about joint decisions, not just deciding on your own this week, dear Taurus. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Gemini and let's see what we have going on for you, Gemini, for this week. Gemini, these two cards wanna come out right away. So for you, Gemini, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Well, jackpot for you, Gemini. I know in the past month or so, I have been getting fantastic readings for you, Gemini. I know the North Node is in Gemini as I'm doing this recording. I just feel like for you, Gemini, this week is fantastic for you. Things are manifesting for you. They're coming into play. Money, security, the Ten of Pentacles is all about just having everything you need and feeling secure, very secure. So maybe something is happening for you in the stock market or a business opportunity where you have a client that you've been looking to, to get, new business coming in, there is a feeling of security for you this week, Gemini. And the Nine of Cups is that fulfilling emotion because of that. Because of this opportunity that has come in, because you're feeling secure financially, feeling secure with the things that you value around you, that is making you emotionally feel fulfilled. I have everything I need and you can relax a bit. There's, there's a lack of stress this week. It is all about feeling fulfilled. You may even decide that you have enough money to take a vacation because vacation is coming up for me as well. So you might have decided that, wow, we can actually take a vacation now because we've saved or we have this new client. And I'm not even getting a warning to say that, you know, don't rush into anything. I feel like this, you know this opportunity is solid and again, going back to the theme of the week, the Rumi's gift, there is wisdom. You know that this is an opportunity that is resonating with you. You know financially this is a secure time in your life. So fantastic, Gemini. I love the energy I've been getting for you. Uh, for this last month or so, so wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Cancer. Let's see what we have going on for you, Cancer, for this week. And Cancer, these two cards wanna come out for you. You got the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. For you, Cancer, this is all about, very much I'm feeling confidence this week in your direction in life. There is somebody, the King of Pentacles is representing somebody in your life that is making you feel secure. 
this could be also a boss or somebody older than you, but they are giving you advice this week as you're trying to make some sort of decision. There is somebody giving you, and I feel like it could be business advice, financial advice. Some of you may be going to see someone for your taxes this week or to look at your financial accounts or just go to the bank and figure out what it is that you have to do to get from point A to point B financially. And I feel like there's somebody offering you advice. That's what I'm getting for you, Cancer, this week. And I feel like from that, you're trying to weigh out your decisions. But I feel like there's one piece of information that you're missing here. And there's a question you might have that you don't know the answer to. There's something nagging at you in regards to something financially. And again, going back to the theme card of the week, Wisdom, this is again where you have to tap in and you may even do this while you're sleeping because I feel like you could be working this out while you sleep. The answer will come to you, but you do need to look at all the options. And I, even though this person is giving you advice, really tap into what you think is best and how long that takes for you you need to figure out, okay, this is how I'm going to move forward with my financial matters or anything in that regards this week. All right, dear Cancer. Now we're gonna move on to Leo. Let's see what we have going on for you, Leo, this week. All right, Leo, this card wants to come up. And we got the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Leo, for you, it's, it's about letting go this week. I feel like for you, it is maybe letting go of a person this week in your life. It could be just having an argument where you're not gonna win this week. Uh, that could be the case for you, Leo. Uh, there could be a time where Somebody may say something to you that is hurting you in some way and making you realize that maybe they're just not the person that I need to have on my side. You know, when we surround ourselves with people who aren't for our best interests, sometimes it's time to let them go or think about how you can change it. Because you may not want to end a relationship, but you may want to end a pattern in your relationship. If you argue with someone in your relationship, this is time where you need to step back and say, okay, how could I handle this differently so that it doesn't turn into an argument every time that we speak together, every time that we bring up a subject. I want to end this cycle, because to me, this is more feeling like ending a cycle some of you may decide to end a relationship, and this can be any kind of relationship. It could be a work relationship, friend relationship, love relationship. It could be, you know, I've had enough of my boss telling me what to do, or I've had enough of this person always putting me under the bus. It's that feeling where, you know, you have to come up with a new way to handle these situations because there's always gonna be somebody in our lives where we're going to have a blockage how are you going to handle that and again going to the roomies card here use your wisdom and decide what is the best way to handle this is it just changing the habits if somebody says something to you instead of reacting you decide to walk away and don't respond to that person or respond positively to that person or is it actually you deciding that this person is no longer positive in your life and you need to move on? And again, that means job possibly, or partner or friend, etc. cetera. So it, again, this is a general reading, so you need to figure out how that applies in your life, dear Leo. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Virgo. Let's see what we have going on for you, Virgo, for this week. And Virgo, you got the Empress and you got the Knight of Swords. So for you, Virgo, this week is all about creating. It's all about being creative in your week and how you are handling your life in a creative way. 
I feel like for you, somebody is gonna be coming in with an idea that you need to pay attention to because I feel like for you, Virgo, you are thinking on your own about this project, this creative, it's something creative. Now, it doesn't mean that you are in the creative field, but it's something you want to create. Uh, and it, that can be anything. So however that applies in your life, I feel like someone is gonna have an idea that can be influential to you in this project. I have an idea for you and I don't feel like you see it. I feel like you may miss it if you're not listening carefully. So any interaction you have with people, even if it is you watching television or a video or on your social media, there may be something that somebody says that will trigger you in solving a problem and creating a solution for something you're working on. And again, it is a project, it is something you're trying to create or manifest in your life. There is a message there for you this week. You just have to pay attention to it and just be aware that a message may come in this week. And it can be something that just somebody says that triggers that aha moment for you, dear Virgo. And also looking at the wisdom card, you really have to be present this week. I'm feeling for you being present throughout your day, paying attention to everyone and not drifting off will help identify for you how to solve that problem and have that solution that you're looking for, dear Virgo. All right, so now we are going to move on to Libra. Let's see what we have going on for you, Libra, for this week. Oh, this card wants to come out. And that's the Nine of Cups. Great. And the King of Swords. So for you, Libra, this is a, a feeling of emotional fulfillment for you this week with the Nine of Cups here. You're feeling blessed. You're feeling like you're surrounded by love this week. I feel like whoever is communicating with you, there, there could be a partner that is making you feel emotionally fulfilled this week because I'm get, picking up a partner energy, a loved one. They are saying all the things that are satisfactory to you as far as fulfilling who you are. They may be telling you the things you want to hear and you're feeling loved this week. You're feeling very loved this week. You are feeling emotionally gratified. You are feeling just blessed to have this person in your life. Now, the first energy I'm picking up with this reading is a partner energy whether that's, it's like a love partner. I'm, I'm feeling specifically love for you, dear Libra. But it also could be someone that you hold dear in your life, a, a very good friend, somebody that you respect. Because I feel like there's a respect here as well. I feel first that it's a respect for your partner, but it also tells me that it could be someone else in your life that you respect. So keep that uh, knowledge there. And I feel like whatever they say to you, like you're gonna get compliments this week. You're gonna feel loved. You know, your partner's just gonna adore you this week. So if you aren't single and you have a partner, you will feel adored. So that's wonderful for you, dear Libra. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Scorpio. What do we have going on for you, Scorpio, for this week? Scorpio, these two cards wanna come out just like that. So, Scorpio, you got the Eight of Swords and the Hermit. This is where you don't know this week where to go. I feel like there's a lot of information coming in and I feel like for you, Scorpio, it's almost overwhelming. I feel this overwhelming sense for you of, I don't know enough. Like you're trying to get information and you don't know enough and it's bringing up a bit of insecurity because I'm feeling insecurity here. And the advice here is saying that you need to take a breath. The Hermit card tells me that you need to tap in and go within and take a breath. So if there's a lot of information coming and you don't feel confident this week in whatever that you're doing or communicating or 
whatever you're doing this week, it is insecurity is the first I'm feeling. You need to take a breath and you need to focus on taking a break, stepping away. If, if, if something's overwhelming and making you insecure, step outside, go in nature, go for a walk, take a breath, just step away is all I can feel is you need to step away from the situation. So don't let anything overwhelm you this week. It will initially, but you have to handle it by just taking a break. If it has to do with work, close your computer, close your laptop, step away, block your calendar, whatever you have to do to give yourself that moment to be centered because then you, it's going to clear you and going to Rumi's Oracle is that touching that place of, of inner knowing. It's, it's inner knowing that I got this, I know this. And if I feel insecure, I just have to take a breath and I, got, I have the answer. I know what I'm trying to do. So remember that this week, dear Scorpio. All right, so now we're gonna move on to Sagittarius. Let's see what we have going on for you, Sagittarius for this week and this card wants to come up and I don't read reversals just so you know just my practice not to okay so we have for you Sagittarius we have the ten of pentacles and the justice card you're winning this week Sagittarius something again ten of pentacles security financial security in particular you might have a business opportunity that comes in for you, but it is also about feeling it's due. It's due for you, Sagittarius. I feel like finally, whatever it is that you've been looking to come in is coming in this week. You are being brought joy because this financial opportunity, it could be a business deal, clients come in. There's a project that you've been working on that is going to pay off for you because I feel very much that it's a payoff week for you, Sagittarius. And you're going to feel that all that hard work for some reason, I'm feeling law here as far as debate. So maybe you were in a court situation or there was something that you were waiting for a settlement that's going to come in for you this week. If that applies to you, remember this is a general reading. But in spite of that, it is all about financial reward this week. Again, clients, stock market, you might have gotten a promotion this week and it was making you feel like we have it now. It's about time. All the hard work we have done has paid off. And I'm feeling we when I say that, so I don't know if there's a group that you're working on if you're in a business and there's partnership involved, because I feel like you're saying we. This could also be the family dynamic where you're all working hard and you're achieving the same goal, because I feel like there's one goal if it's for multiple people. So a uh, fantastic week for you, Sagittarius. So now we're going to move on to Capricorn and let's see what we have going on for you, Capricorn. This card, yep, the card wants to come up and that's the Queen of Wands, Capricorn. You're ready this week and the Emperor. Okay, Capricorn, <laughs> you are the boss of all bosses today. You are leading the way this week, Capricorn. You are taking charge. You're being confident. You know what you're trying to accomplish and nothing is stopping you. And let me tell you, people are going to notice. I feel like this in particular is in your work situation. There may be a boss or a person who is an executive who is going to notice you. Someone is going to notice you this week. So if you are trying to get something off the ground or you have ideas, I just feel this confidence in taking charge this week for you Capricorn and being noticed. Somebody is going to notice your hard work and your ambition and your initiative this week. And I feel like it is definitely in regards to what you do in the world as far as work. This could also be somebody that you work with is taking a fancy to you because that just came into my mind is this could be a love relationship in work. So if there is somebody that you work with 
could have a fancy on you based on maybe something they're involved in with your project if there's something that you're doing because I feel like if this is a love relationship it's definitely tied to work somehow and they are impressed with you you may be starting a new job even if there's somebody in your current work that you think what it's either somebody that's coming into a project that you're leading or if you're in a new job somebody's going to notice you um, because you are being noticed this week. That's the theme of it for you Capricorn this week is you're being noticed and you're very confident and I love this energy I'm feeling for you. It, it's an energy that I think a lot of us want to take on is yes I'm confident and I can make things happen. So great great for you dear Capricorn. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Aquarius and let's see what we have going on for you Aquarius for this week. And Aquarius, we got the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Magician. So again, Aquarius, you and Gemini, I'm telling you, this, these past months have been fantastic for both signs. If I had to put money on winners this in 2021, I would put it on um, Gemini and Aquarius this year so far. But for you, there is a new opportunity coming. If you are looking for a job, if you are looking for a promotion, if you are looking to purchase something, there's something of value here. It's new. It's something coming into your life. The Ace of Pentacles is all about the new beginnings that you're going to have around things that you value. I always look at Pentacles as what you value. A lot of us equate that with monetary value and as far as starting a new job, getting a promotion, getting more money. This is all about you securing your financial future and the magician next to it says, you got this. There is confidence in you as well. You have all the tools you need. I always look at the magician as you have all the tools you need. If you have a new job or a new financial opportunity coming into your life, you, you don't need to learn anything or this is, this is some experience or a, a place that you've come to that you deserve because you've worked hard in the past and now it's going to come to fruition. And I'm drawn to the oracle card here, wisdom for you as well, that says you know deep inside that this is the right new beginning for you. So if it is a new job that you're looking to take, this job will suit you. If it's a new financial opportunity, there is money coming to you based on what you've done prior. So if you've invested in the stock market, for example, and you, you bought a stock maybe months or years ago, it's now going to pay off, that type of thing. It's something that you've done in the past that now is going to secure your financial future. That's what I'm feeling for you, dear Aquarius, is you're securing your financial future. So wonderful, wonderful for you, dear Aquarius. So now we're going to move on to Pisces. Let's see what we have going on for you Pisces for this week. And these two cards want to come up just like that for you Pisces this week. And you got the Strength card and the Four of Pentacles. So for you, dear Pisces, you may be looking to secure your financial situation, but in a different way that I just said for Aquarius. For you, it is all about figuring out how to secure your financial investments. If you are have money in the bank or it's just sitting there, you need to figure out how you are going to, the money you have, make money for you. If you are in a job, how are you going to get to where you're going to be offered a promotion? You need to have the strength to ask for the promotion. You need to ask for something that you're looking for because I'm feeling for you with the four of pentacles here four of pentacles is always holding on too tightly to what you have as if you don't have enough so I'm reading this as and with the strength card next to it is that you're feeling like you don't possibly don't have enough and you're trying to figure out how you can get more but with the strength card here it's telling me that you have to ask for more if you need to take on more 
work. There's something that you need to do so that you don't feel like you don't have enough. You need to look at your financial situation and say, how can I make what I have work for me? If you have it sitting in a savings account, should I be investing some of that money to get a better return? If it is a business, a job that you're in, what do I need to do to get to the next level so I'll be earning more. You may need to talk to your boss and maybe there's a feeling that you don't wanna to talk to your boss this week to actually ask for more money or ask for a promotion, but you need to figure out, and again, going back to that wisdom card, what it is that you really want to do in your life. Maybe you're in a position or a job that doesn't satisfy you. That's where you have to really look deep and say, what is it that I want to do? And, and have the courage to ask. Ask your boss, I'm, I really wanna move in this direction, but I need certain skills. Can I go back to school? Will you pay for me to take a course? Those type of things. And because the pentacles are here, it's all about the earnings, your money, what you value. If you are looking, you may need to borrow money and you're, you may not know that you can pay it back at this moment. So it's all about financial planning for you this week, dear Pisces. So have the courage and the strength to ask, because I, I keep feeling like you need to ask somebody for something. So you may even have to ask for a loan this week, Pisces, to, to get to where you'll know that you'll have enough to complete a project. And this card is telling me that, yes, you need to ask and, and don't worry about it. Just ask the question. All they can do is say no, prepare for the no, but look forward to the yes. So that's what I have this week for you, dear Pisces. So I hope you have a great week. Remember, I do daily tarot card readings as well, and I'll put the link to those videos above. And I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.